Are you good with money? Today we're going to explore 5 signs that indicate you may be more financially savvy than you think. Understanding our financial strengths and weaknesses is not just a matter of numbers, it's about the way we live our lives. It's about the choices we make, the habits we cultivate, and the priorities we set. It's about the balance we strike between living for today and planning for tomorrow. It's about the difference we make, not just in our own lives, but in the lives of those around us. You see, being good with money is not just about having more of it, it's about using it wisely to create a life of financial stability and growth. So, whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out on your financial journey, this video is for you. So let's dive into the first sign. Sign number one, you have savings. Now when we say savings, we're not just talking about a stash of money tucked away for a rainy day. Yes, emergency funds are crucial, but savings are more than just a financial safety net. Savings are the foundation for your financial freedom, your future plans, investments, and retirement. Let's delve a bit deeper. The importance of having savings cannot be overstressed. It is like having a financial buffer, a cushion that can absorb financial shocks or unexpected expenses without destabilizing your everyday life. It's also the capital you need to fuel your dreams. Want to travel the world, start a business, own a home? Your savings will help you achieve these goals without straining your day-to-day -day finances. But how does one develop a savings habit? Well, it starts with a solid plan and a commitment to consistency. It's all about setting aside a portion of your income no matter how small, regularly. You've probably heard of the phrase, pay yourself first. It means prioritizing your savings by setting aside money for it before you spend on anything else. There are several methods to save money. One popular method is the 50-30-20 rule where 50% of your income goes to necessities, 30% to wants, and the remaining 20% to savings. You can also automate your savings by setting up a direct deposit into your savings account. This way, you're less likely to forget or skip saving. Remember, consistency is key. Having savings also opens doors to investment opportunities. It allows you to grow your wealth by investing in stocks, bonds, or mutual funds. It's the stepping stone to creating passive income streams that further secure your financial future. So, take a moment to assess your financial habits. Do you have a dedicated savings account? Do you consistently set money aside for your future? If your answer is yes, then give yourself a pat on the back. You're exhibiting the first sign of good money management. So, if you're consistently setting money aside, you're on the right track. Moving on to sign number two, you budget regularly. A budget, my friends, is more than just a piece of paper with numbers. It's a financial compass, guiding you towards your monetary goals. It's a roadmap, illuminating the path from where you are now to where you want to be. Budgeting is like a fitness routine for your finances. Just as you wouldn't expect to get in shape without a workout plan, you can't expect to achieve financial health without a budget. It's a tool that helps you manage your money effectively, ensuring that every dollar is accounted for and put to good use. Think of it this way. Your income is a pie, and each slice represents a different expense. Budgeting ensures that the pie is divided in a way that leaves room for everything that's important to you. It helps you prioritize your spending, ensuring that your needs are met before your wants. It's a strategy that prevents overspending and allows you to live within your means. But budgeting does more than just prevent financial blunders. It also helps you build a strong financial foundation. It encourages you to save, to invest, to plan for the unexpected. It's a shield that protects you from financial emergencies and a ladder that helps you climb towards financial freedom. Moreover, budgeting gives you control. It empowers you to make informed decisions about your money, to say yes to things that matter and no to things that don't. It's a tool that breeds financial confidence and cultivates financial discipline. So, if you find yourself diligently crafting a budget each month, adjusting it as needed and sticking to it, give yourself a pat on the back. You're not just good with money, you're a financial maestro, conducting a symphony of income and expenses, savings and investments, all in perfect harmony. Remember, a budget isn't a restriction on your spending but a plan for your money. It's not about depriving yourself of what you want, but about enabling yourself to afford what you need. If you're a budgeting pro, then you're definitely good with money. Scene script. Sign number three, you invest wisely. Investing wisely is like planting a seed in a garden. With time, care, and a little bit of luck, that seed can grow into a towering tree, bearing fruits season after season. And just like the gardener, 
An astute investor understands the importance of nurturing their investments for long-term growth. Smart investing is all about putting your money to work for you. It's about making calculated decisions to generate passive income over time. These could be in the form of dividends from stocks, interest from bonds, or rental income from real estate properties. The key here is to understand that you're not just stashing away your money, but rather, you're creating additional streams of income. But investing isn't just about buying low and selling high. It's also about knowing when to hold on to an investment and when to let it go. It's about understanding that not every investment will yield immediate returns and that patience is often rewarded in the world of investing. And then there's the concept of reinvesting. This is where the magic of compounding comes into play. By reinvesting your earnings, you're not just growing your wealth, you're accelerating its growth. It's like rolling a snowball down a hill. The more it rolls, the bigger it gets, and the faster it grows. That's the power of reinvesting. Of course, investing wisely also means diversifying your portfolio. It's about spreading your investments across different asset classes to minimize risk and maximize potential returns. It's about not putting all your eggs in one basket, but rather spreading them out to ensure that even if one basket falls, the others will remain intact. Investing wisely isn't easy. It requires knowledge, patience, and discipline. It requires you to stay informed, to understand the market trends and to make decisions based on logic, not emotions. But if you're doing it right, if you're investing wisely, then you're setting yourself up for financial success. So, are you investing wisely? Are you making calculated decisions, diversifying your portfolio and reinvesting your earnings? If the answer is yes, then congratulations, you're on the right path to financial freedom. If you're investing wisely, you're definitely financially savvy. Sign number four, you avoid unnecessary debt. A crucial sign that you're good with money is your ability to dodge the pitfall of unnecessary debt. It's important to understand that not all debt is created equal. There's good debt and there's bad debt. Good debt, like a mortgage, can be seen as an investment. It's tied to an asset, your home, which generally appreciates in value over time. It's a form of debt that can actually build your wealth in the long run. On the other hand, bad debt is often linked to instant gratification. This includes credit card debt, payday loans, and other high-interest debts that offer no returns. They're just burdens that weigh you down financially. They don't contribute to your wealth, instead, they erode it. So if you're someone who avoids bad debt and only takes on good debt when it's necessary, that's a clear sign you're managing your money wisely. You understand the long-term implications of your financial choices. You're not letting short-term desires cloud your judgment. You're not willing to sacrifice your future financial health for today's wants. Remember, the goal isn't to live a life completely free of debt. The goal is to understand the nature of the debt you're taking on, to ensure it aligns with your financial goals, and to manage it effectively. If you're avoiding unnecessary debt, you're managing your money well. And finally, sign number five, you plan for the future. Now you might be thinking, isn't that what everyone should be doing? Well, surprisingly, not everyone does. Planning for the future, especially when it comes to finances, is a significant indicator of monetary wisdom. Think about it. How can you reach a destination if you don't know where you're going? Having a long-term financial plan is like having a roadmap for your money journey. It guides you, keeps you focused, and helps you avoid unnecessary detours. This plan isn't just about saving for a rainy day, it's about preparing for major life events like buying a house, starting a family, or retiring comfortably. It's about setting financial goals and working towards them systematically. It's about ensuring that your future self is financially secure. So, if you're meticulously planning for your future, laying out your financial roadmaps, and diligently following them, you're definitely good with money. So, those are the five signs you're good with money. Having savings, budgeting regularly, investing wisely, avoiding debt, and planning for the future are key indicators of financial stability and growth. However, remember, these are just starting points. There are numerous ways to demonstrate financial health. Keep in mind being good with money is about more than just making it, it's about managing it. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.